parts of a cell. All living things are made of microscopic units called cells. Two kinds of cells are plant and animal cells. How cells work to keep living things alive is truly amazing. Cells are made of parts called organelles. Each organelle has a specific job to perform in order to keep the cell functioning. The cell membrane is a semi-permeable layer that surrounds organelles. The job of the cell membrane is similar to a doorway. Just like a door lets things in and out of a room, the cell membrane lets materials in and out of the cell. Although the cell membrane is the outer layer of the animal cell, it is not the outer layer of a plant cell. Plant cells are surrounded by a rigid outer layer called the cell wall. The job of the cell wall is similar to that of a brick wall. Just like a brick wall gives structure and support to a building, a cell's cell wall gives structure and support to a plant cell. In fact, a cell wall prevents the plant cell from bursting when the plant absorbs water. The nucleus is another organelle inside of the cell. The nucleus can be thought of as the control center of the cell. Just like your brain is in control of your body, the nucleus is in control of the cell. However, it is the genetic material, or DNA, inside of the nucleus that determines everything about the cell. The DNA determines the type of the cell and when the cell will replicate. Vacuoles are found in both plant and animal cells. However, the size varies between the two cells. Vacuoles are storage tanks for water. Just like a water tower holds water, a vacuole stores water inside of the cell. In plant cells, you will find a large vacuole, and in animal cells, look for multiple smaller vacuoles. Another part of the cell is the chloroplast. This organelle is found only in plant cells and is the location of photosynthesis. Here, solar energy is used to create food for the plant. Chloroplasts are not found in animal cells because animals must consume food as their main source of energy. The mitochondria is an organelle that takes nutrients in, breaks them down to produce energy for the cell in the process of cellular respiration. You can think of the mitochondria as the powerhouse of the cell because it makes energy. Although mitochondria are found in both plant and animal cells, the majority of mitochondria will be found in animal cells. All organelles are suspended inside of a gel-like substance called cytoplasm. Just like a gelatin dessert with fruit inside, a cell has cytoplasm with organelles inside. Plant and animal cells are both similar and different. Both plant and animal cells have a cell membrane. However, there's only a cell wall in plant cells. A nucleus can be found in both plant and animal cells along with a vacuole. Chloroplasts are only found in plant cells. Cytoplasm and mitochondria are in both plant and animal cells. Parts of a cell. To see how chloroplasts work, click photosynthesis. To see a collection of scientific videos, click all videos.